Hi, and welcome to my channel. I'm Lulu, and I'm glad you're here. So, what have I been doing for the past four days? I've been one busy, busy girl. My friend Lorraine, who I met down in Florida at a meetup, uh, Van Life with Senior Women meetup. I met her last uh, winter. Um, she's up here from Florida, traveling New England, chasing good weather. So she's in this area, and uh, she was in my driveway. I, you probably remember that video. It was Barb and her and my vans in the driveway. When she was in my driveway last month, she expressed um, how she needed some renovations done in her van. Just some upgrades, things that aren't working, tweaks, the tweaks. We all know about tweaks. I tweak all the time. So she asked me, you know, your friend Bob that helped you with your van bill. Do you think I could hire him to help me with some things I want to change in here? So I said, well, what do you want to change? So we looked in, I need this, I want this, I want this. I need the headboard to change. I need the bed different. I want new flooring. I need a cabinet built for here. And I looked at everything and I said, you know something? I can do all that. Let's plan it. I'll do it for you. So we picked four days. We looked at our calendars. We picked four days in a row because now we're about to disassemble her home. She's full time in this. So we're going to disassemble her entire van. She used my guest room. So she lived in my guest room for four nights. And uh, we just worked on her van. And it was going to be just kind of working on it around the clock because, you know, we needed to get it done because she needs to go and live in it and uh, uh, travel in it. So that's what we've been doing. And it's finished. And I'm going to show you some of the things that I did um, to, to make some changes in her van. It was all custom for her and her needs. Um, she was the supervisor, and I uh, worked very, very hard. In fact, I used that drill so much, that drill between pilot holes and disassembling, removing screws, building cabinets and stuff. I actually wore away part of my thumb. <laughs> It's very, very, very sore. That's from drilling so much. Because the thing is, is like, I, you know, I only have so much strength. So a lot of times I have to put my whole body into it. And so I'm just constantly rubbing against that, uh, that skin. So it's kind of sore. And I got cuts. We were, <laughs> I was in the middle of putting the floor in. And I said to her, I'm, I'm putting one of the pieces down. And I look at the other side of the floor. And I said, there's blood on the, there's blood on the floor. I said, are you bleeding? And she's going, she's going, no, I'm not bleeding. And I was like, I'm not bleeding either. We're trying to figure out where the blood's coming from. And then I looked down my leg. I had like gouges, like I had two big gouges in my leg with blood running down my leg. Didn't even feel it. So, uh, yeah, so I'm just, I'm kind of a mess. I'm kind of a mess. I've been, we've been sweating. It's been 90 degrees, soaking wet, dripping, dripping. I'm sawing wood. The sawdust is hitting me in the face. I'm all the sawdust is stuck to me. <laughs> it was just like, you know, and we made the best of it. We had fun. I, I enjoyed every minute of it, even with the heat, even with the injuries, with everything. I just love van, van building. I just really love van building. I really do. So I'm going to show you a few things that I, that I personally did for her. And then, um, we're going to let her give you a, a full tour of, the, of her van and we'll talk about the way that she lives on the road full time. So meet Lorraine's van. Lorraine, does your van have a name? Does your van have a name? Meet Lorraine's van, who is nameless, like my van. <laughs> but she said, uh, if anyone wants to help her name this, get, throw out some ideas. Um, she has a channel. It's called Yaya's Travel. Y A Y A apostrophe S Travels. Yaya's Travels. Um, so this is what I'm going to show you right here. So this is her entrance. Woo. This is her entrance. And so what it looked like before was there was a very very old floor that needed some attention. Um, and also, she had this chest of drawers right over here, and this water bottle was on the floor, and she wanted the water bottle raised up so she could put her water bottles under it, and she wanted it to um, 
be on this side of the drawers instead of the other side. So this is the cabinet I built. I'm pretty gosh darn proud of it. So she wanted it to be um, just high enough to um, hold these water bottles. And here it is. I just, we measured the water bottles, put them in there. Now there's a whole pile of uh, space right behind it too for, for she, that she can use for storage. And um, we just, we, we, we um, uh, figured out that it needed to be 13 by 13 by 13. Lucky number, that's a very lucky cabinet. So we put these hinges on. She had this piece of hardware that's just gorgeous. And we put that on too. It, it just needed to be cleaned up and it's like a whole new piece. And because we needed to overhang it, um, it's, it's screwed into the floor. But because this is so heavy, all this water storage, we just threw these two little legs on it. I just had these in my junk pile. And uh, so we just threw those on. And then this is the flooring that she picked. It's a peel and stick vinyl tile. And um, it's just, it's just lovely. It just, we, so what we did was the first day was we emptied this whole van. That was the project. It was, so we just put down a big tarp in my garage, on the garage floor and just brought all her stuff out, put it all, uh, stacked it all up. And she still had to live out of all this stuff too. So we had to kind of arrange things. And then, um, uh, the first thing we did was just clean up the floor. There was a lot of staples in the floor. We had to pull all the staples, pull all the flooring up first, then all the staples, get it nice as, as smooth as we could. Went to Lowe's and picked out some flooring, came back, installed it. And um, just right then, right then, that was just like an amazing difference and just looked so clean and nice. And um, so then uh, another thing that we did was... This piece of wood here that was here, this, this holds her, um, her, her bags, and this is the remote to her Max Air fan. But I said, how about if we take this board off and paint it the same color as the cabinet? So we did. And actually, I, had the, I have a cabinet up in my living room that I, uh, I painted this color, and I love this color. And I had some paint left over, so this is what she used. On top of these drawers was that just what comes with every standard set of uh, plastic drawers. It has, has that plastic top on it that always ends up getting dented down and, and, and the top of it always interferes with the top drawer. So we got rid of that, gone, and we made a countertop. So what we did was we measured exactly what we wanted here. I made these corners rounded so she doesn't hurt herself. And then we bracketed them to the headboard. You can see the brackets right here. See that bracket right there? And then there's one over there. And then these little baskets, I don't know if you remember, but in my temporary build in the, in the uh, ProMaster City and in my minivan, I had these hanging up in the back and had them filled with things that were right next to the door and kept handy. And I don't use them anymore because there's no place for me to hang them in there. So she took them for her, for her headboard. So now this headboard is the headboard that she had. Uh, one thing we did do, you know, the stuff that just drives you crazy. You know what? You know how I say in my video, shit bothers my eyes sometimes. <laughs> well, <laughs> shit bothers her eye too. On this headboard, there was like, it just wasn't like exactly round. There was like this one little part that wasn't round. And she's like, can you make that round for me? And I just took my jigsaw, made it round, sanded it down. You know, just when you live in it, you go like, sometimes stuff bothers your eyes, you know? So when we took the bed apart to take it out, it kind of like fell apart and like, some of the legs were broken. Uh, just trying to disassemble it from the wall, we had to like use a crowbar to pry it away from the wall. Like some of the screws wouldn't back out. It was kind of a bitch. But we got it out, but then it kind of needed to be all rebuilt because of what happened to it <laughs> from removing it. Um, so, you know, all the legs had to be, um, you know, reattached in a, in a better way you know, to distribute the weight of it and to consider the storage underneath and to consider the stability of it. So we considered a lot of things, attached the legs again, and then we just uh, bracketed it to the floor. So uh, anyway, so this headboard, when we were putting back on, she wanted it higher. It was attached down here 
So it's kind of, it was kind of tricky because really the only place that it's being held on is at the very bottom. So, you know, you're going to get, you're going to get top heavy. So we, I put this back board on for like almost like a cleat to cleat it on, put it against here, screwed it in here using these big washers for even more support. And then right in this corner, right up here, we have a little L bracket, a little L bracket that goes from the headboard to the side of the van. And this thing is not moving. Check this out. <laughs> so that's good. I shared a dragonfly with her. <laughs> she said, I have a little yucky pot on the door. I want to get a sticker to cover that. And I said, let me get one of my dragonflies. I think that might be the last dragonfly. We put these thresholds on the back and on the side here just to clean it up nice. Lorraine painted this black. So that was this color right here. See this, this wood color right here. So she painted that black, made it look nice. But this just, what an entrance, what an entrance. Now she did have uh, another set of these hanging right here, but she couldn't have that and this. You just can't. There was the, the space. We needed the space on the step right here because of to try to move everything over this way to have your corridor, to have your space that you're where you're living. So we just utilized this space. But she found a new home for all the stuff that was in those little those little things. So meet Lorraine. Hi everybody. Lorraine is from Florida, traveling through New England for the nice, beautiful New England weather this time of year. And um, she's been all over having a good time. Um, and she's been in my driveway for the past four days. And we've been having a great time uh, making renovations in her van. I, oh, I've had a great time. What's your experience? I've had a good time with the whole thing. It's been hot. It's been humid. Very hot. But it's been hot and humid all over the country. So yeah. if I'm going to be hot and humid, I want to be hot and humid with friends. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> and, you know, we were a team. We were a good team. Um, uh, you know, there's just because there's a lot of little things that need to be done. So I know how you must be just so excited because when you just have like a fresh new and a lot of your little problems have been solved yep. and little little annoyances have been they're, they're not they're not a big deal each one is not a big deal but when you get them all together and it's like this hook that's here that you wish was over here and this this was if this could just be a little higher and if this could be and then it all gets taken care of it's good but that's part of van life that's part of your you life. know if you have a sticks and bricks um you have it decorated and then every six months i did um <laughs> I'm like, okay, I'm tired of this. And I do it every 10 years oh, in okay. the house. <laughs> I was really bored, I guess. That's why I started van life. Van life's the same thing. Yeah. You know, you, you figure out, oh, I could hang that here. I could hang that here. But now that this is done, all I have to do is little spruce ups when I want to. I don't have to like try to find something to cover that ugly floor yeah, up and right, stuff right, like that. Right. Yeah. And it's just, you know, it's just not easy to like, you need the space, like, especially when you live in the van full time, mm -hmm. you need the space to to empty out and and you need the tools and mm -hmm. you need help and so it just worked out really nice because you know I always I always say what's that quote uh, the intersection where my greatest joy meets the world's greatest need is total joy so her need and my my greatest joy um, Thing that the thing that I do that I enjoy, they they met. So it's just like it's just really cool when you can find a way to be of service, actually doing something that you love, you know. And I did. I loved every minute of it. I loved it. I loved the problem solving. I loved the the creativity. And did I mess up? Yeah. You know, I had a cut and recut. And then oh my God, the lace back there. We'll tell the lace story. In a minute, when we get back, when we get I'll to never the back. forget that. Every time I see lace now, I'm going to think of you. <laughs> we'll tell the lace story in a bit. So, do you want to just um, give people a little tour, like like actually inside? Well, they've already got the whole. I got this, but this I'm real excited about. I've had this put up here three years now, um, and people are always asking, "How do you run a 12 volt fridge?" Well, it's real simple. This is a table. This is my EcoFlow Pro River Max, and it charges on 200 watts of solar power. 
or if I don't get solar, this is my ALP propane generator. Sweet. So I can pull this out. I can hook this up. I have a 20 pound, I think they're 20 pound tank of propane. I hook up to that out there. So and you have to take that out to use it. Yes, you take it out. How much does it weigh? Do you know? Is it, it's not heavy. It's not too hot. Pick it up. Yeah. Um, and this is the extension cord. So everything rides right here. When I built this cabinet, I built this cabinet for this. And I had like my black bucket, my tool bag and all that. And so one day when I heard about this, I measured and I said, this will fit perfectly. So that was a no brainer. Okay. So help me to understand this. So the generator comes out, mm -hmm. you hook up a propane, you hook your propane to yes. it. And it creates electricity to charge the acre flow. Yes. Can you also plug things into yes. it? Yes. Okay. So thousand and what's the watch. extension cord for? The extension cord is to plug this into this if I want to take my generator and put it over the picnic table uh, or wherever. Okay. Because this cord isn't but maybe four foot long. Oh, okay. So I bring it out this window and I just crack the window because I have a rain guard. Yeah. So even if it's you know, bad weather, I put a tarp over this. I close the door with a tarp in it, bring it out, yeah. put my generator and everything under the tarp. I'm good to go. And then this is a 100 amp hour gel hybrid battery. Now, this is a 12 volt charge controller. When I'm driving, this battery never goes down because it's so powerful. I have an, a kill switch. So I can turn the switch and power that with my alternator when I'm driving. Once this is full of solar, which if I have good sun, it stays full. I can take my solar cable off here, plug it in here, plug my charge controller in. Now solar is keeping my battery charged. Oh. Now what do, you, what's, what do you use that battery for though? Anything is 12 volt other than my refrigerator. Okay. So I have one, two, three, four 12 volt outlets throughout the van. And they're all hooked to that battery. They're all hooked to that. And um, my Max Air fan. That runs my... You so know, basically, this is for your fridge. That's for my fridge. And I have um, I have the little mini dash appliances. Oh, yeah. So if I want to cook inside, I can plug those in too because they don't take any power. And so then, are those dash products, are those DC? Are, are those 12 volt? No. Okay. But see, in here, I have three yeah, plugs. Right. So, right. so you can't use the dash products with that. You can only use DC. Uh, right. DC right. things. Okay. Right. I see. But you could, but if you had one of those plug in inverters, because yep, the yep. dash products don't call, uh, pull that many watts, you can do it. There you go. I have a 12 volt plug at the foot of my bed for my electric blanket. Sweet. So that's designated for that. So all of my 12 volt plugs are designated. I have a charging station by my bed. I have the one at the foot of the bed, and I have one up top that goes to my uh, Max Air fan. And I can always put other stuff in them, I just don't have the need to. Right. Yeah, so you've pretty, pretty much your electrical needs are covered. They are. Sweet. Very sweet. And here is the prettiness. Oh. Ta-da. And I wanted this to keep open because I'm kind of lazy. And sometimes when I'm camping, I'm like, just give me my rug. Put my rug out. Give me that. Because just enough oh, room. Perfect. Yeah. Because this stays closed mostly when I'm, when I'm camping. Yeah. But I can just pull things out. Yeah. Plus, it creates more airflow under there. So here's my water cabinet. Water cabinet. Isn't that what they used to call a toilet back in the old days? <laughs> that was water closet. Okay. Water closet. That's a water closet. We can call it the water closet. It has the door. Yeah. And then this is what I use for water. And I don't like this. It works well. But I found one on Amazon that this actually folds. So it's not in the way. And it doesn't drip. This one really doesn't drip. But I keep something over it when I'm traveling just in case. Yeah. Um, and then I have... My water bottles here, I always keep two of these full, even though I have this full. Um, these are like for washing dishes, for washing your hands. Um, so how do you fill this? Well, I know you just filled that in my kitchen sink. Yeah, I can, I can do it anyway. Yeah. Um, what I normally do is every two to three months, I take this back to wherever, whoever sells these, Lowe's, Walmart. It's just the Primo. Yeah. And I trade it in for a new one. And so they're usually full. Uh, but then, if I need to fill it along the way, that's why I want it on this side, because if there's uh, a hose that has filters on it, I'll fill it that way. Or I can pull it from one of those water filling stations, pick it up, fill it, put it right back up here. Nice. So, you know, five gallons of water. I know in Florida, it's like a quarter a gallon. 
And when if, if you need to fill it and it's too heavy, you can fill it right to here with exactly. the hose. Put it up there, and then you can fill your water bottles That's and just the keep filling ticket. it. Yep. yep. Nice. Yeah. So then I don't know what I'm putting here yet, but I'll find something. <laughs> we and find something. come on in. Welcome to my lair. I hope it's not too dark in here. So this is the entryway. Is that what it's called nowadays, the entryway? And if I'm on, if, if, if I want to cook and it's bad weather or I'm at like a cracker barrel or something, because I do not like to eat out, this goes on top of here. This here, this is a trifold. I just put this stool up. This is my counter. This is my counter. This is my counter. I have a butane stove that sits right there. Wow. I do crack a window, but I have a max air fan right here too. So, um, so I can sit here and cook. All my groceries, my kitchen stuff is in here. It's in travel mode right now because I'm getting ready to travel. So when it's in travel mode, it looks like this. Um, these little suitcases, this is my desk. This is like girly products. You know, we have to keep shaving and stuff like that. And this is my nail stuff. My nails are terrible now, but I, I like to do my nails. And when I travel, my purse stays right here. And those stay because I have non-skid stuff under them. This is my coffee club, I call it. When I want to make my coffee, um, I just take this whole thing out. Wherever I am, as all my coffee supplies now, in. How does this not slide? Well, it's got non-skid, and this uh, has been all over the country and not slid. My butane yeah. stove. Wow. Wow. Yeah, so it that, that comes right up. Yeah. Wow, that really works well. What's that stuff? Is that the, this stuff yeah. right here? Oh, this is my butane stove. It travels right here, and my kettle. And I had to get a whistling kettle because I forget I have the water boiling. Yeah, I know. I'm old. Watch your head. Uh, but I figured I had the water boiling. So when my other other one kind of went bad, I thought I have to have a whistler. And since I've had this, it's whistled several times. I'm like, oh, yeah, I yeah. have coffee. And that's sitting on that same non-skid stuff. Same non-skid stuff. This has been up. all right. over the country. And back here, I was real fortunate. I can't, I'll show you some in the back. My wheel well, I put a, uh, I put baskets in here. So I have like different, you know, different storage stuff. So window yeah. well down here. And I keep my solar lights in here and then when i when i'm camping i put them outside to mark nice. my way this is all my clothes and my shower my towels and all my clothes right here and these are those need. fabric drawers yeah and they're very so they're light as a feather yeah. oh they're light as a feather they're light but you know what they don't fall out as long as you have them full they right. don't fall out and this is my nightstand which is just more stuff this travels here this is my dishpan and so when I need to wash dishes or whatever, I use that. Um, and this is my junk drawer before I get to traveling. But when I'm, tra when I'm camping, if I want to make like a salad or cook something, I bring this in and I load up all my ingredients and take them out to the picnic table or to oh, one of my Oh, a nice little carry basket. Yeah. Yep. So then uh, this goes up here when I'm not traveling. Yeah. But when I'm traveling, it right here on this non-skid, it sticks right here. Yeah. Welcome to my bedroom. <laughs> the boudoir. The boudoir. Not many people get to see this part, so you're very fortunate. Except for Johnny Depp, maybe one day. God, I hope so. <laughs> I hope so. You oh. know, even if it's on my deathbed, I, what a way to die, right? <laughs> <laughs> That's uh, a way to die, right? That is. This is a piece of trim that I bought years ago, and I what I did is I fasted on the wall because here's these window wells, but I didn't want stuff to fall out. So I fasten those and holds everything in. Now, before everyone gets crazy and asks what this is, okay, I love this. I mean, I love this more than I should, but I love this. And here's why. What is it? Wow. So it sits here. You can put that anywhere. It goes anywhere, but it also has this added feature that I've never used before. So I'm going to try to use it. Oh, it's a flashlight. That's a flashlight. And it charges USB-C or something like one of those uh, charging Did you get cables. that on Amazon? I did get this on Amazon. And I just wanted some kind of a nightlight because when I lay in bed and I like, you know, all my junk's up here. Yeah. I want something I could just have on. And what's beauty about this is wherever you put it, you can angle it. Right. So it rides nice. right here. And then people ask, what is that? And I'm so like, let's like, we'll grab the link to that and put it in yes. the description. And here's the baskets that I was so, I found these baskets. 
and they fit perfect. I got mm -hmm. them at Dollar Tree years ago. I bought every one they had. Mm -hmm. That's not true. I wanted three in each wheel well, and I got three in each. And it's, they hold so much stuff, and they, they hold it securely. Window well. Window well. When, I keep saying tire well. This, um, I used to have three of these, and I gave two of them away because I didn't use them. This is just all my, you know, toiletry items. You know, you get up in the mornings, wash your face, brush your teeth, all that's here. Um, so it stays right here. This is where the magic happens. Okay, this is where the magic. My pee jug and everything's in here. Oh, there's a pee station. It's you a pee a, station. I have a, we and all have a pee station. You see that? There's your toilet. That's my foldable Reliance toilet. You love it? Oh, I've had it for almost five years. I and love you, it. And do you just use it right here? No, it, it has legs. Oh. Uh. It has, has legs that, that unfold. Yep, yep. Oh, the trifold, yep. tri legs. Tri legs, and you set it up, and you just, you know, I use uh, a bag, and it's an emergency thing only. Yep, yep. And uh, those pine pellets, and it works out great. And this is, I don't think you get a picture, but I have a puck light down here. I put it down here because, you know, if you're in a cracker barrel or somewhere and you need to get something at night, we don't want everyone to see you're up. Yeah. It just lights this area oh, up. Oh, nice. So, and Very then I have a, a place here to hang. That extra long sleeve shirt you need when it gets cold, an extra hat. This is nothing but shower bag. Everything, yep. if you want to take a shower, take this. There are my shower shoes hang under there, and you go to the shower and uh, do your stuff. More, win more window well over here with more storage. Uh, this is my extra nightstand. Um, you know, if I'm eating crackers in bed or something like that, or <laughs> Johnny stops by and needs a place to put his hat. <laughs> his yeah. eye patch his, his eye patch that's for johnny's eye patch right there <laughs> so um yeah it's just i've had these for years and i thought i just like the way they hang and um yeah i have storage upper cabinet storage um yeah, nice it's just it's just and i you know i have the led lights and it's just a comfortable living area and i love how you all this wall space here you have just all things that make you smile. Yeah, there are family pictures. Um, as my adventures go, uh, I'm starting to put pictures up of my adventures. I have a lot of them in my cart. Um, you know, people like me and Lulu. There's me and Barbara at a lighthouse. So I'm going to start replacing some of these, making a gallery, just the places I've been and uh, friends I've been with. Uh, but I'm never going to get rid of all my grandchildren's pictures because uh -huh. they mean the world to me. And here's my bed. And look at my headboard. How Johnny and I are going to love this. <laughs> so look, I can lay back here, read a book, entertain people, invite people to come to my back door and give them endless knowledge. So what do we have under here? Oh, so this is where you keep your dirty laundry. That's my dirty laundry. It hangs up here when it's not too full. And these are like shopping bags. And this is a boot holder that this is what it's advertised as. Um, but I needed something bigger. Oh, yeah, than just the one thing that yeah. holds one shoe. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so this is all my bathing suit stuff. So when I want to go swimming. Nice. And my water bag with my water shoes and everything. Uh, you just have this, my poncho, my, I like to go to football games and concerts. So I have a clear backpack that I keep in there because they won't let you take a, oh. a little clothesline. Nice. Yeah. And then over here, this is my bungee pockets it's got a bungee cord it's got clips so you make a clothesline some gloves and here's my garage so what do you got under that bed wow let's see two folding chairs a rug a tent an awning the awning poles 20 i think that's 20 pound propane tank with the extra hose um I was told years ago, always keep a empty one gallon jug. They didn't tell me why, but I'm thinking one of these days it's going to come in handy. So I always keep one. Um, I have. Oh my God. You don't even know. Why. I'm keeping it because I don't know why. But one of these days I'm like, oh, I'm so glad I knew that. I have an empty jug. Uh, um, how long have you been carrying it? Five years. <laughs> That's it hasn't Almost yet. five years. Um, I have a gym bag that's full of like, you know, um, stuff that you need, adhesives and drill bits and blah, 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 um, in there. My tool bag is in there. This black bucket has, um, a gamma lid because when I'm out somewhere, especially out West, I fill it with water. It gets hot real quick. Uh -huh. 
Oh. My shower is in there. My shower toga is in there. My uh, hose, if I need to fill up anything with water, is in there. So that all stays there. And this little place right here is my walking sticks, my broom. I have another table under here. I have a baseball bat, not for a story or not for a weapon. I was in Arizona. There was a big rattlesnake under my van. And a friend of mine was camping with me and she sent me a message. She's like, don't come out of your van. There's a snake under there. And I had a dog at the time. I'm like, you're lying. And she sent me a, the picture of it. I'm like, oh, crap. Uh -uh. So she said, just bang on your van, which I did. And then uh -huh. when I got back to Florida, my old, my grandsons are 11 and 14 now, but they were little. They were in T-ball. And uh, they were ex going up to the next size bat. And I'm like, I want that bat. So I have a little aluminum bat. And they autographed it. Win-win. Uh -huh. And my, my, my reacher to pick up trash. And your gas tank. Let's talk about that big propane this. tank. This. Yeah. So that's what you use for your generator. Yes. And it's got a, a, I think it's five foot, four foot or five foot extension hose. Now, can you cook with that too? Yeah. I ha oh, that's another thing I, under I have under here. I have so much stuff under here. I forget what I have. And I still have room for more. So I might go shopping. But uh, I have a propane powered. It's a grill and a one burner. So that's why I can take this over to like a table and set up my grill and I can actually hook this up to that stove. That's where the extension cord comes in because I can have it clear across the way and cooking and I can still plug in. But your stove that you cook in is that's butane. That's butane. Okay. Yep. So I use the butane, the propane. I like that because of the grill. Yes. And I also have an Omnia oven that goes on top of my propane that I can uh, cook outside too. So there's really nothing. You have that everything. I need. You have, I have everything you need. All these windows have these really pretty blinds, but they're I don't they're not as pretty as I thought they were. And they're they're hard to manage, they get dusty and everything. So the first thing I did is I when I bought this, this is my second van. The first one I had was identical except it had some rust issues and when the frame got rust issues, I'm like we're done. So I found this, or well, my son-in-law found this one, and uh, I went and got it, and it was the same floor plan. So I basically just plug and play, took everything out, and I put it in that one, nice. uh, which was a blessing. And the first thing that you do, go get limo tent on your windows. Oh. Yes, it makes it dark in there. That's why God made lights, so you can turn those on. You saw mine. Um, so, but it saves so much on the, it cools it. No one can see, and even with the lights on, you have to get right up to my windows to be able to see me. Uh, so it's very, it's, it's definitely worth it. And uh, I keep them open because that way I can see things. Now, this I saw here, this. Well, I, I had this amazing idea. I said, you know, how about if we cover that with a piece of fabric? She goes, well, I want, I, I want it to breathe. I want to, you know, I don't want to like block it up because this whole front has, has like a whole piece of wood on the front of it. Um, so I said, but if you used lace, it would be really great. So I thought, let me see if I have some lace fabric, just like a, like a panel from like a curtain panel of lace. So I said, we just do it, cut it this long and then just staple it, gather it and staple it across. I found a piece of lace in my fabric storage. Perfect fit. It was pretty too. Yeah. I was using this stupid ass ruler. If you look. It has on this side, one to 36 over here, one to 36 the other way, right? So I was taking measurements and I said, oh, over here, how can this be? Over here is 16 and over here is 19. I was like, how can that be? Because it doesn't look that lopsided. She's like, there's just no way. So I, basically I was looking at 16 and then I was looking at the other side. So this, this thing messed me up. So then I realized Don't blame the tools, Lula. Don't so, blame the tools. So we then I tired. realized it was 19 and 19. Okay. Excellent. So I went over to the lace and I put this out and I cut 19. But what happened was I was using the other side of the ruler, but I so I really cut 16. So I was like, when I brought it over, I was like, why is this so short? This was after a long day of work. We were tired. We were hot and tired. This was the last thing we were going to do. I shouldn't have done anything at that point. It was only going to be dangerous. So I cut it too short. Then I thought, all right, how about if I cut the 19 inch pieces from this big long piece? And then they'll just be kind of three pieces that could just kind of overhang. 
So then I went back to the drawing board and cut them again, and I cut them at 16 again. <laughs> And at that point, we said, we're done. Good night. <laughs> so all that lace went in the trash. I don't have another piece of lace, but it was a great idea. And I just, not only did I mess it up once, I messed it up twice. But I, I just had a laugh at myself. But that gives me an opportunity to go to the thrift store because I don't really need anything. Uh, but now I can go to a thrift store and I can buy a piece of lace. And my ruler only has numbers on one side. Well, that that ruler is going in the trash. That's a great straight edge. No, I'm going to, I'm, no, I have other straight okay. edge ones that are not going to mess with me. That one's going to donations. Okay. Yeah. I don't need that anymore. That just reminds me, <laughs> reminds me of too much about me. <laughs> I have a lot of questions about this. People look at this and they're like, oh my gosh, is your van leaking? I'm like, no, I took that light out. My solar panel cords run through there and run in here. And run out here. Oh, so that just keeps. So I taped it because it looked like there were solar cords running in it. Right, right. And I want people to know that. Oh, this is cool too. Check this out. These, I think they're called. I don't know what they're called. Loopy doodles. Loopy doodles. That's right. I have these put up because I have shade net awning with uh, ball bungees that go in that and. That way I can put an awning up and I staggered them so that here it's up higher. So when you close the door, you don't yeah. hit your awning. So you got your solar panels up there. Yep. Two 100s? Two 100 solar panels, yeah. And a max air fan. Max air fan. Exact, uh, exact setup I have on my roof. EcoFlow uh, power station, it says uh, it, it charges on a 200 watt system. Okay. So that's put up. And I watched this um, YouTuber, Hobotech he's called. He's really brilliant. Oh, I've seen him. Yeah. And uh, learned about the 3M tape. I forget the name of it. But anyway, it's for fiberglass. And, what ha and, that, and those solar panels are actually taped with that 3M tape. And um, they've been on there. Well, I've had this fan for three years and it hasn't come off. It's not loose. And so there's not, those solar panels are not screwed into the roof at all? No. Those brackets that are on there, there's like big L brackets. Uh, they're screwed into that and those brackets are on with that uh, 3M, I wanna say VHB tape. So the so the brackets are taped and then, and then. That tape kind of oh. melds into fiberglass over time. Wow. And that's what I use to put these hooks up too, is that it's VHB tape. VHB. 3M VHB tape. And, um, <laughs> Fabulous. And I met a guy and he knew how to so do it and I hired him to do it and everything works out fine. So if you want to put solar panels on your roof and you don't want to screw into the fiberglass, if you don't have a roof rack. Well, it's for fiberglass. Oh, it's for fiberglass. Yeah, because you know, that's the thing. This is a 1996. So that fiberglass is old. Uh, I don't want to cut holes in it because it doesn't leak now. I didn't put the max fan uh, in. He was uh, before he uh, stopped working. He was a professional fiberglasser. So I hired him to put my Max fan in. That worked great. It's a 96 Ford E150. It has the reason it's the same one I had before. Um, one of the reasons I wanted the same one, it has a 351 Windsor in it engine. And I know how good those are. But it's very important if you're going to do this, this kind of lifestyle. Get a good mechanic you trust. Yep. Get a rapport with him. And now I don't have any worries. If I go somewhere and uh, if I'm... Because I was in Colorado once and I had some brake issues. I called my mechanic in Florida and talked to him. And he told me, yes, sir. He even talked to the mechanic and oh, said, yes. Nice. Get that kind of rapport with you someone. Have to, yeah. yeah. I have that. I'm very grateful. Yes. These windows open? Are they screens? These windows open. All three of them do. They're screened. Uh, I can open them. Get you nice EF Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Excellent. Well, now all it needs is a good, good washing. So where are you off to? I am off to my friend Barbara's. Yeah. We all know Barbara. I know oh, Bob. Bob. <laughs> um, my friend Bob. Bob. And, and on my YouTube channel, Barbara and I have done some crazy stuff, but we're not done. But I'm going to, she's at her brother's in Westminster. That's what, two hours from here? Uh, not quite. Not quite two hours. No. Uh, I'm going to go down there and uh, hang out with her. I'm going to Maine next week. I'm leaving. And I think Barb's going to come up and do a little bit of Maine with me. And uh, I have a, a, a couple of people, several people that I'm meeting up in Maine. So it'll be fun. And then back to Florida by September. Thanks so much for showing us your home. Hey, thanks and it for was helping just, me. It was just a blast. It was just it was. a blast to, to do that. 
I really enjoyed it. Fun. Yeah, it was fun. Let's not do this again. No, we're not doing it again. <laughs> <laughs> um, so if you want to check out Lorraine's channel, it's Yaya's Travels, Y-A-Y-A apostrophe S, Travels. Uh, I'll put the link in the description. Thank you. Thank you. Bye, everyone. Say bye for now. Bye for now, everyone. Bye for now. <laughs> I'm so bossy. Bye for now. Life. Good.